have you ever thought about doing fragrance reviews or any kind of reviews it doesn't have to be fragrances it doesn't have to be colognes or perfumes you can review anything you want to any kind of product anything you can review places if you go to like a city you can review it on your own YouTube channel you ever thought about doing that you don't actually have to review anything if you don't want to you can just talk about stuff you can talk about yourself I know a lot of uh, youtubers that do that they just talk about their day and talk about their self and talk about their past and their history but you don't have to do that if you don't want to you can teach people stuff you can teach people how to knit or sew or ride a motorcycle um, you can teach people how to sign like sign language you can do anything you can just show people stuff maybe something that you've made you can show people what you've made you can do anything you want to you ever thought about that about three years ago I really wanted to become a fragrance reviewer get on here and talk about fragrances because I was really getting into fragrances and I loved them it was my one of my passions but once that thought popped into my head it was like I'll never be able to do that I can't do that no matter how bad I want to do it I can't do it because I had you notice I said had severe anxiety about doing it about public speaking and I had extreme social anxiety I was an extreme introvert I had all those phobias to keep me from doing what I'm doing right now and I was terrified just thinking about it absolutely terrified I was like there's no way I can do it but over the past few months the more fragrance reviewers on YouTube that I saw the more I wanted to do it some of those guys when I first started watching them some of those guys I admired and respected so much they were some of my heroes at the time I was like I would give anything to be able to do what they're doing but I knew I couldn't because of my phobias because I was so terrified of even thinking about doing it but you know over the over the past few months the more I thought about it it was like the more I tried to figure out how to do it and what I came up with is I was pretending to be a fragrance reviewer in a way I would make I would make like dummy videos of myself talking about fragrances I would actually literally do a real video but I never would post it I never would post it on my YouTube channel it was more like just to see if I was able to do it to begin with and after a couple of months of just figuring out how to to do everything how to actually literally record myself and make my own channel you know and after a few months of me practicing doing it the more comfortable I got and actually one day I decided I think I just want to make just like a really really quick video and just post it and see what happens this was after several months though of me practicing making videos so I did it and I thought I was going to have a heart attack because I was so scared I was like people are going to watch this there's going to be five or ten people watching this and I I almost had a heart attack thinking about that but I did it I did do it though I actually made a video and posted it on my YouTube channel 
and that was like three years ago. Whew, wow. I was so scared, but I did it. And I don't know how long it was that I decided to do it again, but I actually did practice again for a few more weeks before I was able to do it. But eventually I started, I started doing it and I was so horrible. I was at that time, I think I was the worst fragrance reviewer in history that's ever been. I sucked. You could tell, you could tell that I was terrified. You could tell that I was scared to death. I was literally sweating and shaking for the first 100 videos, but I did it. And three years later, I'm not scared at all. I actually, this, this, this whole process was a blessing in disguise. I was able to get on here and talk about fragrances. And eventually I started talking about other stuff and doing other stuff on my YouTube channel. So now I'm doing all kinds of stuff. I overcome my fear of speaking in public. Um, I overcome my social anxiety, my extreme social anxiety. I overcome that. This process helped me to do that. Um, I'm still an introvert. Um, but doing this has helped me come a long way as far as me being an introvert. And I'm actually quite comfortable now doing this. I can get on here. I don't even have to think about it. I can just gra grab my camera. If I'm thinking about something and just want to share it with the world, I can just like pick up my cell phone, put it here, and just start talking. And I'm not scared. I'm not terrified. I'm not shaking. I'm not sweating. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. But it was a long process for me to get from there to where I'm at now. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy for everyone. It was extremely difficult for me, but I learned a lot about myself and I'm able to do something that I didn't think I could do. And I overcome some, a lot of my um, self-esteem problems. This has been quite a journey for me and I don't care how if if you if you even think about maybe wanting to do this and if you have extreme phobia to stuff like this it'll be difficult at first i'm not going to lie to you it's going to be hard at first but if you do it and you do it again and you keep doing it eventually it's going to be like nothing it's going to be like just a normal thing that you do so the reason I'm making this video is to encourage people just to think about it. Um, and I want to plant seeds in people's heads and let them know you can do this if you want to. You can do, you can make your own videos. You can do anything you want to. Well, as long as it's legal, um, you can talk about anything, do anything. Teach people stuff. Talk about yourself. Read books to people here on the YouTube channel if you want to do that. You can do anything you want to. And it's a blast. I have so much fun doing this now. And I'm not scared. I overcome all that stuff. So if you, if you think you might want to do something, like create your own videos about anything... Do it. Just try it. Just make practice videos. You don't have to post them. You don't have to make them public. You can keep them private. You can post them if you want to, but keep them private if you want to. You can review yourself. You can critique yourself. You can watch yourself. And if there's changes you want to make, you can do it because you're watching yourself. So just practice. Practice for a few months like I did until you get a little bit more comfortable and then maybe one day you'll actually post a video and you'll be a youtuber and it'll be a blast it'll be fun and if you have any questions about it put them down in the comment section and let me know and I'll 
maybe I'll be able to help you. Think about it.